All right, so good morning. Uh, my name is Chad Boninger. I'm broadcasting from uh, my office uh, in Alden Library uh, to the three cohorts, uh, uh, AM cohorts in Copeland. Um, so I've uh, started recording here, so you'll, you'll have this recording to fall back on should you get lost uh, during uh, any of the things I want to talk about today. OK, um, some ground rules for today. Um, I can't see you. I see a couple people. I see like five people in, in AM 007 and about 12 people in 001. So um, so I am basically talking to the void here, right? So it's a little bit challenging because I can't see like when you nod your head in agreement that you're getting something or I can't see you start to doze off. So I need to pick up my my game a little bit. Uh, I can't see you re really react to my dad jokes, right? Anything like that. So um, so that's a little bit challenging. OK, so I have to trust that you guys are all paying attention and you're awake and uh, you're with me for the duration of what I'm going to uh, talk about today. OK, uh, everything I want to show you today um, is 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 helpful. OK, it's all going to help you save time and it's all going to help you do better research in this project. OK, so I'm not showing you any junk here. I'm showing you everything that uh, that I have up to this point uh, that I think will benefit what you're doing on your project today. OK. So I'm going to um, show you my screen and um, all right. And um, so this is the library homepage. If you forget how to get there, just go to ohio.edu slash library um, because there is one of me and there are a bunches of cluster students. I like to put uh, everything that I, that I know about a project and the appropriate research tools for the project on uh, on a, a web page. OK, a couple ways to get there. OK. Uh, one, you can remember my name. Just go up here in the top right hand corner of the search box on the library homepage. Click on search here and then just type in Chad. OK. And that will bring up uh, my staff profile. Just click on me here. All right, and then click on this link to my subject and course guides. OK, so this is one way to get there. All right. And if you scroll down this page here, I have uh, my guide to uh, the personal fitness industry right here. OK, so that's one way to get there. All right. This is probably the best way to get here because, you know, if you happen to not make it that far, but you just click on industry research because you're just doing industry stuff, you'll see that there are guides for specific industries right here. And personal fitness is right there as well. So really, you can't really miss miss it either way. OK, so so different ways to get to get to my content that way. All right. An alternate way to get there is if you uh, on the main search screen right here, you can go and change this to subject guides right here and then just type in something like uh, fitness. OK. And that will bring up my guide there as well. OK, so it's really, really your your um, uh, up to up to you as far as how you get to my guide. OK, so um, so what I'm going to show you is a few tools that I think will be very relevant to you all uh, as you are uh, you're doing your research. OK, before I get too far ahead of myself, I want to show you uh, there is a contact Chad link right here. All right, which will get you basically the different ways to contact me. Uh, with questions and that sort of thing. OK, typically email or chat is usually the best. I've got chat offline right now because it's hard to chat and present to 140 students at the same time. Um, typically email or chat or you can make an appointment right here. This will open up my calendar up to a it looks like about a month in advance. And so you can go in and book a time uh, that you want to talk to you know, about research and that kind of stuff. OK, if you're in a group, uh, let me know how many so we can kind of find a room. Uh, if we have a space in the building to house multiple people. OK. All right, so having said that, the way this guide is organized, we're going to primarily focus on uh, three sections today, the industry analysis section, the businesses section and the cut consumers and customers section. OK, for the local industry and local business and local consumer info, uh, that's more of a project two kind of focus and we'll do that. Um, I believe the week after spring break, we'll look at uh, look at those tools and, and, and that's kind of stuff for that project. OK, um, so we're going to start looking at industry analysis here. And uh, so I'm going to show you a few tools uh, that can kind of get you up and running for for looking at uh, industry analysis reports and statistics uh, for the industry. OK, uh, the first one uh, th that we're going to look at is um, is IBIS World. And let me log in here.
All right, after I log in this one time, I shouldn't have to log in multiple times. Okay. Um, so Ibis World just recently changed their interface. Okay, this changed like as of like last week. So I'm still not entirely used to it yet. But um, what I try to do is give you some things in bold to kind of try searching for to get started, right? So, uh, so I might look for, you know, fitness. All right, so here's like gym, health and fitness club in the US, health, uh, gym and fitness franchises, right? Uh, you might search for uh, yoga, right? So here's like Pilates and yoga studios in the US, okay? So different things like that. So let's just look at a sample report here um, to kind of show you the type of content that you can find uh, in an IBIS World report, okay? Uh, it's a great report to kind of get started, right? Um, and they just totally reorganize how this is how this is done, okay? Um, so you kind of see you have you know what the uh, what the industry is all about here, the definition, major players in the industry if there are any, right? So gym franchises, there might be Gold's Gym, Planet Fitness, uh, things like that, right? Uh, main activities, similar industries. Uh, here we have a gym, health, and fitness club in the U.S., with a, which is a similar industry, right? Weight loss services also probably in the personal fitness industry, right? Um, and over here on the left hand side, we see that we have industry at a, a glance. We get like a SWOT analysis uh, of the industry, right? Okay. Uh, we get, you know, uh, how the industry structured. We get things like, um, you know, current performance. We get things like, you know, the outlook for the industry, uh, things like that. Okay. So it's a great kind of place to look for information about um, uh, a particular industry, a great place to get started. Okay. Uh, particularly if you know nothing about an industry, it's a perennial favorite for uh, for looking at an industry. Okay. Uh, having said that, um, sometimes cluster students tend to over rely on IBIS World, uh, meaning that they cite it 120 times in their paper and they might cite every other resource like one time, right? So don't let IBIS World write your whole paper for you. Okay. It's a great tool, uh, but don't don't overuse it for your for your uh, for your project. You want to make sure you got multiple perspectives. Uh, on your on your project, okay. All right, so that's Ibis World to get started there. Um, so I give you some search terms: fitness, gym, yoga, training, etc. That can be useful. Uh, first research is a nice complement uh, to uh, to Ibis World. This one's a little wacky when you first get here. You got to click uh, click once, and I'm actually going to blow my text up a little bit. Maybe that'll help you. Uh, um, help you see a little bit better hopefully if you have if you don't see that you got problems let me see if i can't do this real quick one second pull this over here sorry i'm working on two monitors and i want to make sure i got the chat open in case you all have some issues um all right so you gotta click continue and then um click submit here and then finally, we're going to get into uh, first research here, okay? And the way it works, um, if we go in and type in, for example, fitness or gym or health or weight loss or whatever, uh, we're going to get reports that look like this. So here's like fitness centers, okay? All right. And uh, the nice thing about uh, IBIS or first research, excuse me, is that it does give you a little bit more global perspective than IBIS world. Uh, IBIS world is primarily uh, U.S. Uh, information here okay so you get kind of a similar kind of information that you would find in, in what you find in ibis world there uh so here we got a forecast right uh we're going to have things like critical issues in the industry uh business challenges trends that kind of stuff okay now if you look at uh first or uh, first researchers forecast versus ibis world right uh, they're going to they're going to differ, right? Because we have different analysts looking at kind of the same problem, right? But potentially forecasting in a different way. Okay, so bear that in mind. All right, so um, so just just to think about that. Okay, um, so the good good kind of place to look for for both kind of information as far as like getting up to date with what's going on in the industry. Okay. All right, uh, Statista is also another perennial favorite here. Um, so Statista, as the name implies, is really good for like statistics and um, all kinds of, of, of things like that. So I'm just going to search for, uh, um, so if we type in fitness, here's like fitness industry. You see there's fitness club, fitness training, all these different kind of search suggestions for you.
So here we have fitness uh, equipment in the United States, wellness industry, uh, fitness industry in Europe and China. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff that we can we can look for. OK, so um, let's see, for example, here's uh, fitness equipment uh, in the U.S. or number of U.S. club uh, health clubs and fitness centers 2000 to 2017. Let's look at that, for example. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Um, you know, we found a report like this. We can see that the, the increase, it's, it's on the climb as far as uh, numbers, right? Uh, you can download this as an Excel file or as a PNG to put in your PowerPoint. Um, there's also, if you click on the details here, um, we'll give you every information about that, right? Um, if we look at the source, if we click on the source link, a lot of times it'll actually link you to uh, where they got the original report, <clears throat> original information. In this case, it's a bad example because it actually shows you a report that you got to buy for a price. But a lot of times it'll link you to a free report on the web. Uh, so statistic in a way kind of acts like a little mini Google, uh, if you will. OK, so it's a it's a cool resource to um, to try to find additional information on a, on a on a topic. OK, so here we see there's stuff on here. Health and fitness clubs. If we click on click on there is going to take us to kind of the parent topic of health, health and fitness clubs um, and that sort of thing in statistics. So you can kind of go down a, a pretty big. Uh, you know, wormhole here if you're not careful, but you can kind of go and see there's all kinds of stuff in here for to find information about uh, fitness clubs or the fitness industry, uh, that sort of thing. It's a great place to kind of uh, get started. OK. Um, <clears throat> piggybacking on that, uh, if you um, want to look for other information, let's scroll down here uh, looking at uh, articles and trade publications and that sort of thing. Um, I don't have anything on my industry websites yet, but as I uh, discover things. I'll put links here for you to look for. Uh, I think clubindustry.com is actually on my my current list of of uh, things to to add uh, to this area down here. Okay, but Business Source Complete is a is a great place, um, uh, especially for like your annotated bibliography project. Right, um, this is a good place to go uh, if you're wanting to say let's find articles about you know for example Planet Fitness. Right, we can go and find articles about individual companies, uh, about the industry as a whole, right? Uh, things like that, okay? So it's a great place to go and look for uh, information about, about uh, uh, companies like that. Or for example, if we look for, um, let's see, uh, Beachbody, right? Um, is uh, uh, the uh, uh, company that owns like Sean T and all that kind of stuff, right? P90X or whatever. Uh, that kind of stuff. So this will kind of give you articles about about that kind of stuff. So it's a great way to go and find additional content out there on whether it's the industry or um, um, you know or or uh, let's see if we search for CrossFit um, or different kind of trends in the industry, uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, so we find find articles about that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to segue into looking at businesses and peers and competition within the industry. OK, um, basically, we're looking for company information uh, for particular companies. Right. And you'll probably identify some of those companies as you're looking at the broader industry. OK, uh, DMB Hoover's is a great place to start uh, when you're looking at particular uh, companies. Right. Um, we don't need that. We're good. And don't show me again. Thank you. Um, so if we want to search for like some of the main uh, competitors or our companies in the in the industry here, for example, here's Planet Fitness. And Planet Fitness is a publicly held company, means it's traded on the on a stock exchange, right? Um, here we have um, information about Planet Fitness. If we want to, we can click on Fitness and Recreation Centers. And that will give us more information about more companies within the industry, right? Uh, we have, you know, some of the, you know, analyst reports, market research reports here, stuff on fitness and recreational sports centers in the United States, right? So we get stuff that way. So there's lots of stuff you can go in and find information about uh, either an individual company or the industry here in uh, DMB Hoover's, okay? Uh, you get stuff like company news. It's a great way to kind of limit just to, uh, just to news about uh, your, you know, companies in in the area to kind of get an, um, 
a uh, how that's kind of clever. Planet Fitness calls bull fit on the fitness industry. Funny. Um, so uh, so you get kind of different kind of uh, information about um, you know news in the, in the area about the particular company in the industry that kind of stuff. Okay, you can look at things like competitors or closest industry peers. Uh, will give you information uh, as far as like you know other companies that you may want to be looking out for. Uh, in in the same uh, arena as Planet Fitness, okay? So a great way to kind of get started with, you know, some of your uh, general company information there, okay? The um, the next one that, that is pretty good for general company stuff is Merging Online. And um, works kind of the same way. Uh, if we go in and search for, um, search for Planet Fitness, and that totally blew up all those. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, search for Planet Fitness. All right, so Planet Fitness, again, is trading on the New York Stock Exchange. It's a publicly held company, right? So that's why it's in here, right? But a lot of times when we're doing kind of this granular level industry research, if we look at some of the larger companies, we can kind of identify industry trends according to those larger companies, okay? So here we see we get, you know, for Planet Fitness, we get, you know, general company financials as far as, you know, um, how are they doing, right? So, uh, you know, what's their set, what's their sales like, things like that, Okay. Uh, we get a decent list of competitors over here, another place to kind of identify uh, peers in the industry, okay? So you get, you know, other places to look for. So uh, uh, I learned some things just by looking at this and found like Town Sports International, which is a holding company for a lot of different fitness clubs in the uh, Northeast and Mid-Atlantic of the U.S., right? So I had never heard of that company ever, right? So it's a good way to kind of identify uh other other companies in the in the in the industry sphere. Um, another thing to look at as well is uh, under the reports tab here. Just kind of hitting some highlights for you. Um, there are these broker research reports. Okay, and what these are, these are basically stock reports uh, that analyze Planet Fitness from companies like um, Zacks or Wright or uh, J P Morgan. You've probably heard of them before. Right. So these are all uh, brokerage companies that are analyzing um, Planet Fitness as a stock. OK, so in many cases, uh, these things will actually um, uh, look at um, look at how the company is doing in light of how the industry is doing. OK, so uh, typically it's, it's very stock focused, but you can get some. Uh, this is an example of one here. You can get some. Um, information um, about how the industry is doing, how the company compares to how the industry is doing, uh, that sort of thing. In some cases, you get some, uh, some more textual analysis than this one. This is more, you know, a lot of financial stuff. But here we have some key developments of what's going on in the company, you know, business summary of, of, of the company, uh, things like that. Okay, that would be useful to you. Okay, so, uh, so another place if you want to get that granular into that kind of information. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Um, 10Ks. 10Ks are uh, what public companies have to submit to the Securities and Exchange Commission, right? The federal government is made to, to say, hey, these are our disclosed financials. This is how we're doing business. Um, these are really cool. You can use the Edgar search form right, right down here to search for 10Ks or search for companies. But to kind of give you an idea, uh, I linked to two of them in here. Nautilus, which is a home health uh, uh, fitness uh, equipment company, right? And Planet Fitness, which is a... Um, which is a obviously a gym, right? So we, if we go here, uh, this is going to take us to Planet Fitness's uh, 10K on on the uh, at the government website, right? And what I want to look for specifically are these things that are called risk factors, okay? So the risk factors. Whoops, I scrolled in too much. It took a little while to load. There we go. So risk factors are is basically the company identifying the things that are kind of volatile in the industry. OK, so the company itself, you know, in this case, uh, Planet Fitness is identifying things that, you know, could harm their business. Right. So it's a good place to kind of look for information. Again, you know, not not an industry report per se, like you find in Ibis World, but it's a great place to kind of go in and look for information as far as uh, what's going on in the overall industry uh, that could affect their business. Right. OK, so a great place to, to look for that kind of stuff. All right. Um, so, uh, finally, uh, look at Privco real quick. Privco is really good for private companies. Okay. 
Uh, in this case, we look at um, log in here. Um, if we look at a company like uh, I mentioned Beachbody earlier, Beachbody is actually a private company. And if we look at Beachbody, here's Beachbody LLC. Um, so this gives us uh, basically this is one of the few places that can give you, uh, you know, some financial information, not necessarily all, but some financial information or total employees, that kind of stuff for uh, privately held companies. OK, so Beachbody is one of the main uh, kind of at home fitness. Um, um, it's actually a multi channel marketing uh, kind of program, right? So um, but it's a uh, or multi level marketing, excuse me, program. Uh, but it's it's one of those places that uh, is it was it's kind of in the rise as far as at home fitness kind of stuff, right? And you kind of see that their sales have shown that, right? As have their total number of employees. So this is a good place to look for information as far as um, how <clears throat> how's the company growing, um, what kind of uh, investments are they getting from um, uh, seed funding or venture capitalists, that kind of stuff to see you know information like that. Okay. All right. Um, at this point would be where I'd ask you if you're OK and I'd see your heads nod and that kind of stuff. But since I can't see that, I'm going to assume that we're we're still good to go. Um, we're going to segue into consumers and customers. <clears throat> All right. So I've got two areas in here that I want to show you uh, for uh, particularly for for fitness and health clubs and that sort of thing. Um, so when we're looking at industry analysis up here, these these kind of things kind of cover the larger industry uh, as a whole, whereas under the consumers and customers section, we're getting into uh, what are called market research reports, right, where they actually do consumer level surveys of people who use a particular product or engage in a particular activity. OK, uh, the first example of this is a database called Mintel. And um, it's especially useful for uh, for this project, I think. All right. So uh, Mintel, if we were if we were to buy a Mintel report on the open web, right, um, it would run in the neighborhood of about five thousand dollars a piece. OK, uh, so that's why we have um, this little Mintel academic access splash here. We got to scroll down and we got to agree here and click I accept and we'll finally get taken to the Mintel homepage. OK once it loads. <clears throat> All right, so the way Mintel works, uh, you can kind of see Mintel covers lots of different kind of consumer areas from from mattresses to food service to incontinence products, right to um, you know, information about uh, hockey and, and Hispanics, right? So stuff all over the place, right? Added towards to its higher education, wine and spirits, things like that. OK, so um, what I found in bold here again, <coughs> excuse me, is that there are some some reports in here for things like uh, if we go up here and look right here is a search box. It kind of hides from me there. Uh, if we search for health, um, it should auto populate for us. Uh, let's do health and fitness. They just changed their homepage like last week as well. So this is a great time to be teaching this stuff. Um, tell you what, I'm just going to search for health and fitness and see what we get here. It may be being a little sluggish for us as well. Being really slow. All right, that's what I want to look for here. So here's like uh, uh, health and fitness clubs, right? Um, you'll also notice here's like active outdoor enthusiasts, right? Well, not necessarily a health club per se. Uh, some people in personal fitness may engage in some of these activities as well, so it might be worth looking at as well. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. We got supplements, right? Uh, healthy dining trends, health management trends. OK, um, let's see. So we're getting uh, personal health, right? Uh, so we get all kinds of stuff in here that we can look for. Wellness trends to watch for in 2020. 
Um, so we're finding some pretty good stuff. Wearable technology, and, and this is uh, your Fitbits and your Garmin's and your Apple Watches, that kind of stuff, right? Um, exercise trends, right? So we have all kinds of cool stuff in here that we can find. So let's look at this report uh, for health and fitness clubs, okay? Um, so what these reports are, they will survey, you know, typically about 2,000 people um, and ask them questions about, you know, their particular uh, product category or interest or, or that sort of thing, okay? Um, so here we have, uh, you know, you get information about, uh, oops, sorry, scroll down here a little bit. Um, I typically browse this this way. So you see there's stuff in here on, um, you know, market factors, market size and forecast, for example. Right. Um, we get stuff on major brands. Um, so here we see this is a, an example of the overall market, how the market's growing, uh, things like that. Uh, total revenues and forecasts uh, in the US, <clears throat> things like that. OK. If we look at um, uh, the consumer, here we get into like your consumer demographics and psychographics. OK, so these are your things like why does someone do things? You know, why is someone motivated to go to a fitness facility versus go home, right? Um, what are they doing instead of doing fitness? What are their alternatives, right? So these are their, their motiv motivators, aka psychographics, right? Why do people want to do this thing, right? So they want to go to look better, to relieve stress, improve their confidence, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so here we see things, you know, uh, um, answers to these questions by demographics and now we're mixing demographics with psychographics here in mintel okay so it's a great place to, to get this kind of information also want to show you uh while we're in here is um for the newer reports uh basically 2018 or so and beyond this is a 2019 report there's this thing called this interactive data book okay so if we want to say let's look at motivators to go to a fitness facility all right, let's do that and click on go to data book. And we are just going to continue here. <clears throat> and we're going to close that because we know what we're doing. OK, um, basically, this gives us um, I lost my. Let's see, let's look at motivators to go to a fitness facility. OK, so this gives us information. Let me try to zoom in a little bit here. Without breaking it. OK, so motivators to go to a fitness facility. They so they asked people who said they had any club usage. Why do you want to go? OK, so again, this looks pretty similar to what we found in that report uh, in the in the report section of Mintel. Now, what we can do over here is explore the demographics of that particular question. OK. So again, we're going to build a chart based on, okay, we're good. We're going to close that. We're building a chart based on uh, demographics and demographics and the psychographics, right? So this is a way you can kind of go in and get information uh, for, <clears throat> for that kind of stuff. We can also view this as a graph, right? Okay, so it's a kind of a way that kind of you can share that. You can, you can take a screenshot, make your own table, that kind of stuff with this kind of information. So it's a great way to kind of go in and look at uh, information like that. Okay. You could also go in uh, Mintel here and search for uh, specific brands, right? So <clears throat> you could search for Fitbit, Garmin, uh, Weight Watchers, you know, uh, Planet Fitness, you know, uh, maybe CrossFit, those kind of things. So search for kind of those larger product categories as well to see if those bring up any other reports for you too, okay? So again, it's a great place to look for that real kind of consumer-focused information, okay? All right, uh, the last one we'll show you here it, within the uh, customers and consumers section is a database called Simmons Insights, okay? Um, we'll probably get real granular in Simmons when we do project two, uh, but I want to show you just kind of, um, I want to show you just kind of a, a, a bird's eye view of how to use Simmons because some people use it for project one uh, last semester. Okay. Um, and I do want to scroll down and show you that I've got some suggestions down here on how to search uh, for specifically fitness and, and, and health information in Simmons. And these tips will continue to grow as I discover them as well. Okay. So we're going to click on Simmons and, and uh, log in here. 
<clears throat> and we will proceed. All right, so the way Simmons loads, it loads in this cross tab section, which is a little bit overkill for what we're doing for project one. OK, so you probably don't need to use this uh, for project one for for this section. OK, but what you're going to do is go under essentials and click on quick reports. <coughs> OK. And I believe I have. Yep. Note for basic demographic profile, use the quick reports found under essentials. OK, so it's got that spelled out for you there, too. All right. So we went to essentials, quick reports, boom, we're right here. OK, now you can search right here, but sometimes searching in here is a little bit challenging because you don't necessarily know what's in there. OK, um, and a couple of things I want to show you. You, know, you may say, well, you know what? I really want uh, demographics of people who use the Peloton bike. OK, well, if you look around a little bit, you probably start to think, well, this is 2016 data. Am I going to find information about people who use a Peloton bike? No, right? Because Peloton came on the scene, what, 2018, uh, early or late or early 2019, right? So we're not going to be able to find information about that, you know, in here, okay? What we can do is what I'd encourage you to do is right here under all, rather than search, you're going to click here and we're going to look at the dictionary. OK, so this gives you an idea as far as how Simmons. Now, let me blow this up a little bit so we can try to see that a little bit better for you. Um, the uh, so if we go here, click on dictionary, it gives you a drop down menu of basically all the stuff that Simmons asks questions about. OK, so Simmons will do they do similar to Mintel, they survey, <coughs> excuse me, survey consumers about different kind of product I, uh, categories and interests, OK? Now, uh, for whatever reason, they put health and wellness and physical fitness and sports interest under entertainment and leisure, OK? <clears throat> so if we click there, we can scroll down. Here's stuff on like physical fitness programs, right? So maybe you want to say physical fitness program, where did you exercise? <coughs> or Let's look under sports and fitness. Let's look at sports played every chance we get. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and if we scroll down, here's aerobics. Um, here is stationary bicycling. <coughs> so these are people who like to stationary bicycle every chance they get which means these are probably uh, the same people who would probably be more inclined to um, to buy a Peloton bike. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we found this. We have to make it our target consumer. We're going to click on target. All right. We click on demographic profile. And we're going to click on the arrow to run our analysis. <clears throat> All right, so now what we get, we get um, demographics, including general statistics, education, ethnicity, race, income, age, gender of people who say they ride a stationary bike every chance they get. OK, so it's a great way to kind of look at <coughs> people and see how this might match up ideally with people who would, I, I, you know, potentially buy a Peloton bike or a Nautilus bike or 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 that kind of stuff. OK, so it's a great way to do that kind of stuff. All right. There's not stuff in here on Fitbit, but there is stuff in here on if you went in and searched for something like wearable. Right. So here we have information on people who use um, uh, a wearable tracker. Right. Again, this is uh, 2016. Right. So uh, uh, so bear that in mind. Right. So it's a little bit different. The reason it's 2016 because we have an academic license. OK. Um, but here's demographics of people who in 2016 uh, said that they uh, have, a, have a wearable device. <clears throat> OK, so it's a great way to kind of go in 
and look again for more information, more demographics on those kind of things. Again, if you go into the dictionary here, there's also in addition to the entertainment leisure section, there's a lifestyle statement section. And here we see here's stuff about diet and health, right? Uh, might be worth looking at. So here are things like attitudes. I agree a lot to these statements. Um, uh, things like um, I'm in control of my weight, right? Uh, let's see. I make sure I exercise regularly. I agree a lot that I make sure I exercise regularly. Let's see what that's all about. Let's use that as our target. All right. <clears throat> and we will run our analysis again here. And so here we have um, people who say they agree a lot that they exercise regularly, right? So you can kind of look at that information and get similar demographics uh, for those kind of things, okay? Um, so that's a kind of a Simmons overview kind of in a nutshell, all right? If I lost you there, what we did is we created a demographic profile, which is linked right here, okay? This right here shows you exactly what I just did. Um, this, uh, so I've got a video tutorial here as well as a step-by-step -step on uh, what we just did to create a demographic profile, okay? Uh, kind of walks you through that kind of stuff, all right? Okay, uh, as you uh, have citation questions, uh, if you click on APA citations here, uh, I actually link right here to my friend Steve's guide on how to uh, cite business databases in APA format. Okay, and so he's got a nice PDF here um, that is, is, is well done. Uh, basically, it gives you examples of multiple, you know, types of databases. Uh, that kind of stuff inside an APA format, spe specifically for your, your annotated bibliography and that kind of stuff, okay? Um, my, uh, my recommendation is basically be consistent, okay? Some of these things are very weird uh, in there's no author, the title may be kind of like off, you know, or missing, uh, things like that. So just do your, do your best, okay? Basically, your instructors want to know uh, where did you get it, right? Uh, when was it made, right? Who made it? right and where can i go find it if i want to um uh trace back your research steps right so so that's kind of the important thing about citing your stuff okay all right um so again if you have questions contact me um i'll be around um you know usually make an appointment or send an email uh or use the chat function from online as well <clears throat> all right uh, i am going to stop right there and uh, pause to see if there are any questions. Uh, if you have any questions from your room, guys, you can either just use the mic or uh, use the chat. Otherwise, I'm good here. So just let me know uh, what y'all need in your rooms. I'm going to wait about Five more seconds. All right. Cool deal. Looks like everybody's good. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, good luck in research and uh, have a great day.